Okay, this is an issue which needs to be fixed for WWE 2K20. I'm hoping it's a simple Ooh, yeah. one, but quite frankly, in 2019, this shouldn't be an issue for a WWE game because this has happened before, it's happened in previous years, and the community has kicked up a stink about it, and rightly so, but yet, it's still a problem. So please 2K, fix this for WWE 2K20. Now this is my issue. You see the Olympic gold medalist Kurt Angle here, and I was actually putting together another promo for Universe Mode WrestleMania. So when some of you ask, where is WrestleMania? Issues like this don't necessarily help because as you see, Angle is wearing a downloaded attire from the community creations, but the issue is this attire should include the stripes of the American flag, the red and the white. And subsequently, after downloading this creation, getting my match set up, getting everything in place, ready to capture, the stripes are just gone. Poof. Gone. Where? I don't know but they've disappeared. Now the issue is that the logos have been removed from this attire for some reason. And logos have been an issue with WWE games before. But this issue, as a creator, it does make you question the stability of a WWE game. And it's very disappointing as a creator or a downloader, because if you download this attire, you get to the stage where I got to, then you see the attire, and it's missing the logos, you're like, what? Really? And if you created this attire, it's even more disappointing all the time and effort that you put in, maneuvering the logos, getting everything perfect, only to then see this and have people saying, well, the logos don't work. Almost like you're getting the blame. It's not your problem. Something with the game is causing this to happen. Now I've seen in the past, it's after patches are rolled out that this potentially causes an issue because we've seen logos shift on attires and then people have to go in, adjust those attires, creators have to go in and maybe even delete the uploaded attire, readjust and re-upload. So then the stats and the figures that that creator, you know, was building up over time because they wanted to move up the ladder as a creator are then jeopardized. It's just not good. So I do think there needs to be some tender loving care towards logos in a WWE game because it is an ultimate frustration for a creator to spend the time and effort to put it in only to then see their created attire seem to go belly up. And then for those that are downloading, like in my instance, when you go and get everything set up and you're ready to go and you're just like, oh, no way. This is unbelievable. And it just shouldn't be happening in 2019. And in terms of patching and when things are patched, there needs to be thorough checks made that it doesn't impact areas like this. Because if it impacts the logos on all the attires, I mean, that's just not good enough. So I really do think that 2K need to look at this as a major problem and fix it. And it is part of making the game more robust. I think as well, it would be, you know, a more reliable game if these sort of problems didn't happen. And for me, I'm all about these fixes that make the game run more smoothly, make it easier to navigate around. And of course, the less problems, the less bugs, the less issues, the better. In matches, look, I know people like to have the odd botch here or there, but this sort of problem, I don't think anybody likes it. I don't even think the 2K devs would like it, that we have to point it out, but it just shouldn't be there. So I really hope this does get fixed for WWE 2K20. There's been too many years when people like myself and other people have been impacted by the issue of logos either going skew if 
or them just being removed completely, like in this instance. And it's time to stop, as Claude would say. On oh, Aces, it's time to go. But, uh, you know, maybe that'll be my line for WWE games. It's time to stop. And we definitely need this fixed, hopefully. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to make this video to point this out. And I think it was worth adding to my please fix this list because I've just found when I'm creating these promos, I'm trying to get so many historical attires, trying to, you know, vary the look of superstars from over the years, trying to keep my promos looking realistic and tying to history like they should. That's what I want. That's my focus. When I create my universe mode, I want to have that element of realism to them. And what I don't want is then to be slowed down as part of that process by then working out that I go and grab an attire and it simply doesn't have the logos. And it's the unpredictability of it too, because it's not all attires. So it seems like something has changed at some point in time with the game that has made certain attires go wrong and that's never gone back and been addressed. That ain't great. That ain't good. So anyway, you know, if you're impacted by this issue, please do hit the like button, show your support for this video, because then hopefully something like this will get fixed. And yes, I do appreciate that every bug cannot be fixed, but if bugs like this can be, it will just make our gaming experience all that more better. And I'm all for that. And that is honestly what these little videos are all about. Because as I'm coming across these problems, I want to bring them to light. So hopefully they get fixed. And then we have the best WWE game we can possibly get. Bug or potentially issue free. How does that sound? So there you go. Again, I didn't expect to make this video, to be honest with you. I was working solely on my new promo that you will hopefully see this week. Uh, the idea was to get it out today, but this didn't help. So I thought I'd talk about this and bring it to light because yes, it slowed me down. So all that's left to be said for now is please rate, comment and subscribe. We still wait for any sign or any news on WWE 2K20. I'm on the lookout, I'm on the prowl, but nothing just yet. But as soon as we get anything legit, you know, 100%, none of that King Mo stuff. As soon as we get something decent, solid, we'll talk about it. Whoa. I don't know what happened to my voice there, but never mind that. Uh, one other quick thing, thank you for the support of the Shawn Michaels, AJ Styles promo, the dream match. The feedback has been phenomenal. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Very chuffed. Loved every single comment. That's a rarity. And again, but that is a rarity. And so I thank you very much. Uh, but for now... I'm going to sign off gracefully. So, ta-ta for now. And leave me any other suggestions of things that you want fixed in a WWE game. And also, if this issue has been impacting you, let me know how. And also, let me know of when potentially this problem crept up. Did it come after a patch? Did it just all of a sudden appear? When? Why? How? I'd like to know. But for now, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you later.